In this lesson, we will look at protecting and locking shapes. Protecting shapes and locking shapes are two different functions in Visio 2016. Protecting shapes also requires using the Developer tab. And here's how it's done. We start by selecting the shapes that you want to protect. For now, we'll choose the hexagon shape, and then we'll navigate to our Developer tab. We'll select the Protection in the Shape Design section. Protection, right here. Here we can ensure that all appropriate boxes are checked. What do we want to protect? In most cases, you'll likely just want to protect the shape from being deleted or from being moved. Of course, if you wish, you can select all or none. But in most cases, most people want to protect their shapes from being moved or deleted, perhaps rotated. And select OK. And now if you attempt to move that shape, nothing will happen. If you try to delete the shape, this says shape protection have prevented the complete execution of this command. So that's protecting shapes. And that I recommend. If you need to protect your shapes for any reason, use the protecting shapes option. While I don't necessarily recommend locking shapes themselves, since you can add shapes to layers and lock the layers instead, as we've discussed in a previous lesson, I recommend that. However, if you insist on locking the actual shapes, here's how it's done. Start by selecting the shapes you want to lock and protect them as we just described before. We'll choose protection, we'll choose all, and we'll choose OK. Shapes protected from selection can still be selected unless you check the shapes and we'll discuss that's our next step. So we've now protected our shape. So now in the show hide section of the developer tab, which is located right here, select the drawing explorer checkbox. The drawing explorer panel opens here. In the drawing explorer panel, you can find your drawing page name and the shape you want to lock. So the name of this page is Locking. So here we will look for foreground pages, Locking. You can see shapes. And you can see circle. This is the shape we protected, the circle. You can see now why locking is going to be a bad idea. This can be a concern. You've got to actually navigate to the various details within your document. To lock our document, the document itself or the drawing file is located at the top and all of the details of what's included in our drawing is listed below. To do this, we'll right-click the document at the top and we'll choose Protect Document. Now the Protect Document window opens. Here you can check the Shapes box in the Protect Document window and then you click OK. And now your shape cannot even be selected. The other shapes can be selected, those which are not protected. I had previously protected the blue square, and that's why it too is not selectable. But the circle we just protected is now also not selectable. To reverse this process, we would simply follow the same steps, but we would be unchecking the shapes box. So we'll go into the Drawing Explorer panel, right-click Protect Document, uncheck the shapes, select OK, close our drawing panel. You can see that the shape is protected by the diagonal lines that appear in all of the handles. That indicates that the handles cannot be moved. I've done the same with the blue square, but you can see with our hexagon and our triangle that the handles can be edited. And that completes this lesson on protecting and locking shapes.